hi hello welcome to joyroot today we will discuss how we can add an additional disk to a vm apart from the os disk if you required an additional disk how we can add it to a azure virtual machine let us check it out that so i have uh, already logged into the azure portal and i've created a virtual machine in the name of test vm and if you check it out the overview of the test vm it is uh, in the e2 series and v3 version 2 cpu and uh, 16 GB RAM is available for this particular virtual machine. Public IP is provided and uh, location is West Europe. IP is uh, private IP is uh, automatically given from the machine. And uh, you can see all other settings over here. So we are going to add an additional disk to this VM. To add an additional disk uh, in the left hand side, left side blade, we have a uh, settings called, we have a, a settings option. Uh, here as you can see here and uh, down to that we have something called disk so click on disk so it here we have an option to create and attach a new disk so i am going to attach a new disk uh, and we have to name the disk so i'm giving it as uh, a data disk it, it has um some some name i'm going to give uh, as database disk database and no space is available uh, allowed and storage type again we have uh, many options here so i'm keeping it as it is i'm keeping it as premium ssd uh, we have local redundant storage premium ssd premium ssd v2 and standard ssd so uh, according to the uh, classification even the performance also will be uh, will be high so premium SSD, I'm selecting it out and the size I'm giving it as 20 GB. And if you want some uh, settings to be changed here, we can do it accordingly. So I'm just allocating a 20 GB hard disk uh, separate uh, disk to this uh, virtual machine. So this in that we have an option to save it. I'm saving that. So the Azure portal is creating a disk and attaching to this particular virtual machine. So successfully created the uh, di uh, disk and it is updating the virtual machine. So it is done from the Azure portal side. Now what we have to do, uh, we have to log in and attach it from the, uh, from the locally we have to attach that. So I'm logging, I'm taking the, virtual machine rdp yes i'm just logging to the uh, machine dot backslash administrator and i'm giving the password okay uh, actually, the uh, username is administrator1. So, what the slash administrator1 and the password I'm giving the strong password, which is already given while creating the machine. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm logging to the machine. It's loading the OS and okay yeah so i'm inside the server so here in the run i'm just uh, going to the disk management disk mgmt dot msc okay so i'm in i'm in the disk management Yeah, here we can see already uh, that uh, 20 GB is allocated to this machine, but it is not attached. So to make it online, uh, it is already online. And now I have to uh, format and allocate it. So I'm doing that. Uh, the CNA following drive letter, I'm keeping it as F drive itself. Next. Next. Finish. So the disk is attached to the server. You can see an additional disk over here in the name of uh, volume f drive and it is having 20 gb 
So in this way, we can attach a new disk to the uh, Azure Virtual Machine. Okay, let's. Uh, we will meet in another video. Uh, if you like this video, uh, and uh, there are many other videos related to Azure Portal, Azure VM, uh, how we can create a virtual machine, how we can auto shut down, auto start, how we can do nested virtualization on Azure Portal. So all those details I have I have created separate videos. So you can watch my channel, you can follow my channel and uh, view all those, uh, watch all those videos. So thanks for watching. We'll meet you in another video. Bye.